you can essentially start trying to get pregnant immediately after you've stopped your birth control. A lot of women are going to start ovulating pretty shortly after, but the length of time it takes for the contraceptive to leave your system depends on the person and it depends on the form of contraception. One thing that's always recommended before you start trying to conceive is to visit with an OBGYN or a fertility specialist for a preconception counseling visit, as well as starting prenatal vitamins. The best ways to track your ovulation after you've stopped your birth control is either using the calendar method or using ovulation predictor kits. With the calendar method, this is more useful if you have regular periods. So the way you're doing it is you're using the length of the first day of one period to the first day of the next period. And then you are subtracting 14 days from the last period to figure out usually what cycle day you ovulate. So for example, if you have a 28 day cycle and you look at the calendar and you subtract 14 from 28, you are likely ovulating on cycle day 14. Alternatively, you can use ovulation predictor kits that you buy from the pharmacy and usually starting on cycle day nine or 10, you want to pee on the stick first thing in the morning to figure out if you are peaking. So this is looking at your LH or luteinizing hormone levels in the urine to figure out when you are going to release that egg. So let's go over how to use ovulation predictor kits. Keep in mind that different companies will have specific instructions, so it's really important to read the package insert to know exactly how to use the specific ovulation predictor kit that you're using. Let's start with a traditional LH strip. So ideally you wanna do this first thing in the morning when you wake up, you want to urinate in a cup and with the urine sample, you're going to dip it up until the underneath the point of the line on the strip. And you wanna hold it in there, usually for about 10 to 15 seconds, but once again, every company is going to have specific instructions, so follow what they tell you. Once you dip it in, you wanna lay it flat. Usually when it's positive, you can expect that you will ovulate within 24 to 36 hours. There are also digital tests that you can use. Once again, you wanna make sure that you are reading the package instructions on how to specifically use the one that you have. But generally, once you either dip it in the urine or you pee on the stick, then you're gonna go ahead and insert it into the little digital machine. And usually it will either give you a happy face or a sad face indicating whether or not you are having an LH surge. If you have not conceived after 12 months of trying, if you're under the age of 35, or six months of trying, if you're 35 or older, it's probably time to go see a fertility specialist for an evaluation to see what's going on. And remember, just because you're seeing a fertility specialist doesn't mean that you need fertility treatments or that you need to do IVS. 